Essential Oster Blending Tips. You've told us that you love making it fresh with your Oster blenders. So here's a few essential blending tips to help you tackle your next blending job with consistent and delicious results. Did you know there's actually a right and wrong way to load your smoothie ingredients? Well, there is. How to load your smoothie ingredients for a smoother smoothie. For smoothies and frozen drinks, load your blender from liquids to solids. So start with your liquid or yogurt and make sure you have enough to cover the blades. Then add fresh fruit or veggies cut in three quarters to one inch pieces. Lastly, add frozen fruit or ice. Here's a quick tip for a smoother smoothie. If you're using a lot of hard fruits and veggies or a lot of greens, be sure to pre-blend them with your liquids first. Then add in your other frozen ingredients and blend again. And here's a reminder. If you are making your smoothie in your to-go cup, remember that you'll be flipping it over to put it onto the base. So you'll actually add your ingredients in reverse order. Frozen items, fruit, then liquids. Did you know you can actually blend your way to a clean blender? Well, you can. How to quick clean your Oster blender. When you need to give your Oster blender jar a quick lighter cleaning, here are the steps to follow. Fill your blender jar with three cups of warm water and add one to two drops of liquid dishwashing detergent. Either select the easy clean feature or use the lowest speed and blend for 10 to 15 seconds. Empty the jar of soapy water into the sink and rinse thoroughly with clean water until the jar is fully cleaned. And here's an important tip to remember. You can give your Oster blender a quick clean anytime, except when you've done a heavy blending job or when you've blended milk or dairy, meats, seafood, or eggs, which all require that you remove the blade assembly from the jar and give everything a thorough cleaning in the dishwasher. Your Oster Classic Series Blender has settings that range from low to high speeds. But what's the best speed for your job? When to use the high or low setting? Understanding what setting to use for your particular blending job on a push-button blender can help simplify tasks. So here's a few guidelines to follow. The low speed is ideal for pureeing, pulse chopping, mixing, whipping, and creaming. Use the higher settings for more powerful jobs to blend and liquefy, crush ice, make smoothies, pulse and chop nuts, grind coffee beans, or shred cooked meats. We hope that these tips will help you to make it fresh and blend it better for delicious meals for many years to come.